Updating your firmware frequently is beneficial for keeping your device up to date with the latest improvements and fixes. In this video, you'll learn how to enable live updates and manually update the firmware. Keeping your NAS firmware updated will help improve device performance, fix reported issues, and fix any security vulnerabilities. First, let's log into the NAS with an admin user. Click on Control Panel, System Settings, then Firmware Update. Here you will find some basic system information including the current firmware version. Although updates are checked automatically by default, you can choose to manually check for updates if you deselect the option. You can also join our QTS beta program if you want to receive beta update notifications. Now, let's open the Firmware Update tab. This is where you can manually update the firmware. The first step in updating your firmware is to download the firmware version you want through the QNAP website. Once you're on the website, hover over the Support section and click on Download. Use the drop-down menus to choose the number of disk bays and the NAS model. You can always find the latest firmware editions here along with its release notes, which state the changes included in that specific update. Choose the version you want and select a download option according to your location. The firmware is now downloaded and ready to be uploaded into the firmware update page. Before starting any firmware updates, you should back up all disk data onto the server as a safety precaution. Let's begin uploading the firmware by clicking Browse, then selecting the firmware that you downloaded. The system update may take a few minutes depending on your network connection status, but it will notify you when the update finishes. A status bar will appear and you will be able to keep track of the progress. Upon completion, a window will pop up asking if you want to restart the NAS. Click OK to start the system immediately or cancel if you want to restart it later. Keep in mind that you have to restart the system if you want the new firmware to be in effect. Now you should know how to enable live updates and manually update the firmware to keep your NAS up to date. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out our next videos.